it's different than if you're just watching TV or watching a movie, right? You get to see the objects in front of you, all the details. My name is Erica Ostrander. I'm the exhibitions coordinator at the CSUN Art Gallery. I have submitted work of students. Often I do select students who I know should have a career path in the art world. My name is Renee Schufelt, and my affiliation with the CSUN Gallery has been as a teacher, taking my students to the gallery. Kind of different in terms of selection of work. Um, the school year will start. Um, students will start making art in all the various classes that I'm teaching. And it depends on really the quality of the work coming out sometimes. Art is always changing and you can only build off what's already been out in the world. So I think sometimes it takes like culture a minute to kind of catch up to where artists are. It was like the most amazing environment that I could come somewhere every day and just express myself creatively. I could have the music on, you know, I could talk with other people about ideas. So that notion of it, it's just life and living uh, is probably the key to what uh, art is for me and, and, and means to me. I, th I mean, honestly, I think this exhibition that we currently have, The House of Fear, is one of my favorites just because it's so unusual for what we normally have in this space. I think there's always something for someone, and we're always open to have conversations and to get to talk. So we're like really excited when other students come up here. It's remembering that feeling of like, wow, I did this, I made that. It has moved me into still producing, still thinking and living and making connections. It, it, it keeps you connected, art keeps you connected.